Lee at the Brain Performance Center. And today I want to talk about mild cognitive impairment, MCI. I read a great study from Harvard Health and I learned some things that I'd like to share with you. Because if you're like me, if you're over 50, if you've had a family member that suffered from dementia and you start to have those memory problems or can't stay on task, well, you can get this tight feeling in your gut. And the first thing that comes into your mind is, it's gonna happen to me, dementia. And stop that, stop that right there. Ask yourself, are those deficits so severe that they're impeding with your normal daily functioning? Because if they're not, you may be experiencing mild cognitive impairment, MCI. MCI is not a disease. It's a collection of symptoms and observations. We used to refer to it as early Alzheimer's, but we've learned now, we've learned that it's really not that. It's just when you have at least one cognitive ability that is deficit beyond normal aging. There are two types of MCI. One focuses on your memory loss, and that's amnestic. And the second is non-amnestic, and that focuses on the memory being intact, but maybe a language or an attention problem. Some people will get MCI, and they will progress to dementia, but not all. Some will remain stable, and some can even revert back to normal functioning. The, the individuals that all have MCI are different. The symptoms, the causes, they all vary. But what we've learned is that some of them are treatable. And some that are treatable come from a treatable disease, such as depression or sleep apnea or medication side effects. And the people that are experiencing MCI as a result of those, they can revert back to their normal cognitive functioning. We know that as we age, the brain's cognitive power does begin to decline. And we know that we, there are things that we can do to stimulate those brain health and brain growth. We also know that there are things that we do that can stop brain health and brain growth, such as too much alcohol, not enough sleep, not enough exercise. At the Brain Performance Center, we look at creating neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to change and to be able to create and form those new synaptic connections. And we also focus on giving the brain the energy, getting those neurons to wiring and firing together and talking. Because neurons that fire together, wire together. We also know that as we age, the brain changes. The hippocampus, which is the memory center, begins to shrink. And we know that groups of cells will stop talking to each other. Those neurons and dendrites that are sending and receiving information, they may stop wiring together. We also know that the answer to MCI and many other things is in the brain. And at the Brain Performance Center, we can train those brain networks. And those networks are made up of all the different lobes, the frontal lobes, the temporal lobes, parietal, occipital. We can also train the thalamus, the cerebellum, the limbic system, the amygdala, and the hippocampus. We've learned that we can train that brain to get into a regulated state. And by doing that, we're creating brain plasticity and we're building cognitive reserve. Today, we know that the brain will continue to create new, new connections on a daily basis. And that every second, that brain is connecting new connections. So if you feel that your brain is not connecting or it's not wiring and firing as well as it should, stop and ask yourself, what's going on? And if you would like to learn how to stimulate great growth in your brain, please call for a complimentary consultation because at the Brain Performance Center, it's all about turn your brain on to get your game on. And we can help you do that. We can build neuroplasticity and cognitive reserve.